What I'm gonna try to do today is ask everybody what the best first mod is to do to their Subaru and what year Subaru they have, and if that first best mod was the actual first best or was the actual first mod that they did to their car. I think Long is live right now. Hey, I'm live. What's We're up? We're about to do an Inception. So, what, in your opinion, is the best first mod to do to a WRX? Uh, I would have to say tint. Tint? I hate driving around a fishbowl. Was that your first mod? Yes, that okay. was my first mod. In your opinion, what is the best first mod to do to a Subaru? Get a boxer dog. Oh, I walk away. Or tint the windows. I, I like the boxer dog because that probably helps you pick up ladies. Nope, right? Sometimes. Sometimes you get a car and you think you're going to be picking up chicks, but all, all you're attracting are dudes, right? But with the dog. But with the dog, that's a different story. That's a good first mod. Was that your first uh, mod? The yeah. dog? Yeah. First mod. I'm a snowboarder, so I say roof racks. Is that the first mod you did to your car? Yes, I did. I got roof racks because I am an avid snowboarder, and I actually well, that was the reason why I bought the car was for snowboarding. If you're concerned about voiding warranty, go cosmetic, wrap it, do lights, wheels, tires, anything like that, drop it down low. If you want a little bit of a performance mod, I would go with a cat pack. Won't okay. void warranty, sounds nice, definitely worth it. So of all those you just mentioned, which one would be your first? My first would be exhaust. Exhaust, all right. And then, was that your first mod that you did on your car? No, I went with a cosmetic look, and I did Morimoto C lights, so I have RGBs in there, and then I got the demonized, and retrofitted everything, so it brings it all together. Intake! Intake. Cat, Cat back! Cat back! Cat tires! Cat back! Tires! tires. Nothing, leave that shit alone. No! <laughs> leave it stop! No! Are you about to stop? No! Like, Danielle? Um, intake. 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 Instant gratification. It's instant gratification. A you on here, bro sticker. You on here, bro. Yo, those are still limited quantities right now. But if you can get a you on here, bro sticker, definitely slap it on there. All right, hold on. Ask parents. Your parents? We're gonna ask them in just a second. That's first mod, everything. <laughs> everything. 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 But something has to be first. And all of it. All of it, all at once. All so you're one of those guys that just it. buys all it all and slaps it on there and does yeah. it the right way. I, <laughs> best first mod is a 2J slot. We've got Josie's parents here answering our question of what is the best first mod to do to your Subaru? Exhaust. Exhaust, yeah. Exhaust. Exhaust. I love Doesn't matter if it's axle back, cat back, exhaust. Does it, does it matter if the car is uh, NA or turbo? or doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. What do you guys drive? We drive a 2014 Forester. Does it have a? Is that the first mod you did? Was exhaust? No, it was already modded when we got it. It had tinted windows. It had tinted <laughs> windows. But what, what was the first mod you added to it? Was it exhaust? I have it yet. Okay, but you're gonna put an exhaust first? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah, yeah. Probably awesome. do nameless exhaust, axle back, and then uh, wheels. All right. And do you guys? And the STI suspension. <laughs> Grimes, do you wanna add anything to that? I mean, I would say the same thing just because you don't really need a tune for a cat back. Let me ask you, because you've got a pretty good exhaust. What what do you have? What are you running? Uh, I have the NVIDIA N1 Race, which is the non-resonated version of the N1. That and wheels and tires. I mean, wheels go, and tires. If you go good wider man. with the wheels really and tires, sure. you can have a lot more fun in the corners, and that's that's all I do with my car. I don't like straight lines. So. Well, that depends if you want your warranty or not. <laughs> But aesthetically, the biggest difference would probably be changing your wheels. Changing your wheels? Yeah. So if you were to not void the warranty, change your wheels. Now, what if you had an older car or you just didn't care about the warranty, what would you say? Send it. Just send it? <laughs> yeah, send it. <laughs> well, that's, send it is not a mod. All the above, you know. What was the first mod you did to Trixie? First ever? Yeah, can you remember that far back? Yeah, I did my uh, diode dynamics, the sea lights. Oh, the sea yeah. lights? Yeah, uh, Nolan just said that too. Yeah, I did, that was the first thing I did. I was scared because that was the first time opening my headlights and that took like six hours. <laughs> yeah? The best first mod would be wheels and tires, especially the tires. Is that the first mod you did to your car? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, I did lights or something. Lights? You don't even remember, is that far back? Yeah, that was years back. I'm All right. Back. Get a sponsor. Get a, get a sponsor. That's a, that, that is a great first mod. But it's but it's hard to get a sponsor if you don't have any mods. It is. Performance-wise, probably an axle back. Axle back? Just to give it a little better sound because okay. it's inexpensive. 
and it doesn't void your warranty, and it gets you on the right track if you want to either void your warranty or not. Forge internals. Forge. Pick up the boost. No, just kidding. Forge it. No, 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 no. It's aggressive. Wheels. Wheels. To Definitely wheels. wheels. Just so you can take advantage of the all-wheel drive system that it delivers. Wheels as in like rims or as in tires or as both? Both. But I would definitely go with tires first. Okay. And then work your way up. From the ground up, yes. You just gotta get a cop license plate holder. No, but seriously though, um, intake. Intake. So you get the whoosh noise. Was that your first mod? That was my first mod, an intake. Okay. Yes. Technically, the cop license plate holder. But just because I was excited, and that's the only thing I knew how to put on without researching. Um, I haven't done anything performance-wise, but I put floor mats in it, which is kind of a dorky first mod, but it's really smart because yes. you just vacuum everything up, and I didn't keep my old car clean, but this one's definitely important to me to keep it clean. What kind of floor mats did you end up putting in there? Yeah, that's good Oh, uh, I've seen those. They're like competing with um, the WeatherTech. Yeah. Oh, here's the Troll Brew. There's a lot of mods in that guy. My car, I would say, brakes. <laughs> all right, Brad, all right, all right. All right, so I would say the best first mods from our, my car or anyone else, else's car would be brakes, tires, and probably just intake. Brakes as in brake pads, brake calipers. Just everything, rotors, calipers, pads. Because uh, if you want to go fast, you know, you need, you need brakes. Come on, super, you don't stop. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> was that your first mod? My first mod was actually my exhaust first. Brake pads and intake, but I would rather have gone tires and brakes first. So you would have rather grip, tires grip, yeah. I've, I've spent so much money and done so much shit. I don't, I don't know where to start. You don't, don't know where to start. You don't remember where you started. I don't remember where I started. I started with a four hundred horsepower car from the get go. So uh, I would say AOS first. Second would be a, a carbon fiber drive shaft for drivability, and then E eighty five with supporting mods. I think an exhaust kind of brings out that Subi rumble. Is that the first mod you did to your car? Yes. Yes. It actually was. Uh, the next is carbon fiber. Next carbon fiber what? Hood, spoiler, some other little stuff. Does the missus want to add anything to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she has a Subaru too. Is your is your Subaru completely stocked then? Yes. Okay, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. She wants to keep the warranty yeah. intact. She wants to keep the warranty intact. Smart woman. You ready? So what am I doing? Oh, best first mod, window tint. Window tint. When in Southern California, tint, is, tint was the very first thing I did to my car. Yeah, uh, cart boy short shifter and bushings. Oh yeah. 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 Made a huge at least, difference. at least the shift stop. Yeah. Shift stop. Yeah. Okay. At least the shift stop. I, I have the shift bushing. Oh, okay. uh, definitely made a big difference. Yeah. yeah. What was your first mod? My Subaru. Yeah. Back in the day, a blow up. <laughs> it's a common answer. That was 2004, man. It's 2004. Dude, everyone likes the psh sound. Yeah. Best first mod has to be either a cash can or an AOS because the PCV system of like Subarus, at least for like 02 to 05, not that great. Was that your first mod? Yeah. Best first mod, I say, is an access port. Access port. You're the first person to say it? And like, I was expecting a lot of people to say access port. I figured they would say that. That seems like, you know, cut and dry. You should get an access port, start there. It has to be exhaust. Exhaust? You gotta hear your car. That's the one thing. Like, you can't drive around and not hear the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yes, actually, that was the first mod. First thing I did was add NVIDIA N1. I hated the stock exhaust. Because I went from a Tomy to stock and I just couldn't deal not here in my car. So right away, I had to put an exhaust. First thing I did. So I'm here with RJ. Hey, how are you? The uh, proprietor of Bumper Docs, our host for tonight's event. Bumper Doc. My first mod was a catback. Okay. It was a catback. That's it, been a yeah. popular answer tonight. Um, for two reasons. Number one, it was you know within my budget. Mm -hmm. Number two, I just couldn't stand not having some drone in my, in my uh, cockpit, you know? Cool. Everyone like and subscribe. This young man puts out great videos. Um, he's been a great proprietor of, uh, of knowledge for the Subaru community, and he's also you know, given mad love and mad props to Bumper Doc, so all I can do is return the favor. So. I appreciate it so much, of course, RJ, and of course. thank you so much for just you know, also being a big supporter Absolutely. of our club and the community and just all the Subi owners and just everybody um, here in San Diego, so I definitely also recommend anybody that needs body work to come down to Bumper Docs. Thank you, thank you. Um, love. Yeah. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru, exactly. right? Exactly. Share the love.